Introducing the iconic Nalgene water bottle. Ooh. Yes, once a niche product for the rough and tumble outdoorsy type, it's now an essential piece of daily life at home. But just what makes a Nalgene bottle superior to, well, just about anything that holds water? Well, to find out, we're headed to Nalgene's 97,000 square foot facility in Fairport, New York, where we'll ask Eric Hansen, Director of Sales and Marketing, that very question. It's a very beefy, very robust bottle. We had a lifetime guarantee, so if for some reason something unfortunate happens, we'll replace the bottle. Something unfortunate like being dropped? We drop the bottle to see, to make sure that it doesn't break. Right, we're dropping it on purpose, okay. The Nalgene bottle starts with BPA-free plastic pellets, which are stored in these giant silos. Each silo can hold over 35,000 kilograms of pellets. The pellets travel into the factory via these overhead pipes. Then the pellets arrive in these hoppers, where they're mixed with colored pellets. Each batch uses 20 kilograms of color, and today we're making blue, which is Nalgene's signature color. It's pretty amazing. Just a little bit of that colorant, you know, gives that really deep, rich, vibrant color. The mix of pellets and colorant is melted and then flows into the injection molding machine. The molten plastic is blown into a mold around a core. The bottle shape is then inflated by 150 PSI's of air. That's 150 pounds of pressure per inch. This is done, and he is also dropping a bottle. Do you drop all the bottles, Don? No. <laughs> Not at all. So how many uh, bottles can this machine make? We'll make about 4,300 bottles this year. That's more than 8 million bottles a year. <laughs> I'm such a math whiz. The blown bottles travel down a conveyor belt, where they're inspected by Debra. Hi, Hi Debra. Debra. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, brother. Looking great, Deb. It's because I drink a lot of water. Listen, don't mind him. Debra inspects and packs the bottles and then sends them off for printing. Nalgene bottles come labeled with liquid measurements and a logo. Printing is done by this lightning fast machine. And here to tell us how it works is this guy. Hi, what's your name? Uh, what was that? Yeah, I got nothing. Let's go talk to Eric again. It's a silk screen process. It's a really fancy piece of equipment that robotically picks up the bottle and then it places it and then it basically rolls it as the inks go by. And then it flips it up and it takes it through this tunnel that basically cures it. So it cures the ink to the side of the bottle. Is there any way we can see that a little slower? Cool. Ah, uh, much better. Labeled bottles head down this conveyor belt where they're lidded. Wait a second. Where did these lids come from? Darn it! Back to the pellets! The lids and straps for Nalgene bottles are made out of the very same plastic pellets as the bottle. This time, after the black colorant is added, they go directly to these injection molding machines, which form the liquid plastic into lids, straps, and buttons. And this is Loretta. She's manning the vibrating conveyor belt for the lids. Just look at those lids. Shimmying their way to freedom like sentient hockey pucks. Be free, lids, be free. Put a lid on it. You're right, I'm getting carried away. The lids and buttons are loaded into these giant funnels. The buttons fall into trays and a worker adds the strap by hand. Then the machine drops a lid on top and the three pieces are fused together by a process called ultrasonic welding. Yeah, just like rubbing your hands together creates heat, this machine rubs the pieces together so fast that the surface melts, fusing them together. And now they can be put on top of the bottles by this fun crew. Smile pretty for the camera. Bottles from each run are tested to make sure they're the right color, are smooth on the inside, watertight, and can support up to two kilograms of weight. Which is a good thing since people use these bottles for just about anything. The multi-purpose bottles go through another machine which drops a protective plastic sleeve over them. Then they're packaged six to a box, sealed and palletized, ready to be shipped out to Eric? I have nine million. 
I actually have a, I actually have a cupboard. It's so big that when I open it up, bottles start to fall out. And about every month, my wife says, all right, time to have the friends over, time to get rid of the bottles. And so maybe once a month, we have our friends over and they take the bottles and the, the cupboard goes back to being bare. But then inevitably, it, uh, it fills up again. Eh, let's just say they're sent to all the homes where water drinkers live. So everyone. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs>